We're over here in Insadong. I am meeting up with Cecil and we're gonna get some coffee. It can't decide if it wants to snow or rain, but it's actually really nice out. The air quality is really lovely, so can't complain. Um, I found a big billboard of Dune, which we're going to be seeing later this week. Also, I don't know if you can see, but like the top of the mountains are covered by clouds. It's just a very, very cozy, nice day. So I'm excited to go hang out with a cozy, nice person and hopefully there are pastries in our future. So let's go. Hello, welcome to a discombobulated little week. This is gonna be more than a week. I just canceled a big trip to Japan I was taking. The year is shaping up to be a lot messier than I thought it was gonna be. Um, and that's okay. I'm trying to go with the flow, but um, who knows how this vlog will take shape but thank you for being here, okay? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> sun is out. Welcome to another day. It is Saturday. I don't think I like properly said hello other than shouting over the snow at you guys. So hi, welcome to the video. This is going to actually span two different weeks because I mentioned it in passing, but I ended up canceling just the Japan trip that was never meant to be. I had originally planned to go to Japan earlier this winter, but then because of some life stuff happening and going back to the US for a bit, um, I rescheduled that and then we went to Japan for New Year's and it felt like why would I go back to back and there's just so much going on in my life and like work and stuff like that that it's just it wasn't feasible so I ended up canceling that and then I had a moment of scrambling <laughs> of like well then shoot what am I gonna what am I gonna film and I decided to take a like one filming week off um, I'm still filming, but there wasn't enough that I was doing in a week to make one vlog, uh, to make like a vlog per week. So instead I will make one for the two weeks because I do have stuff going on now. Um, one of the really exciting things I'm working on, I can't really tell you about it yet, but I will say that the sponsor of this video is a big hint, and that is Skillshare, who you know and love. Skillshare is an online learning community, so you can learn pretty much anything you want to if you want to take up knitting, if you want to finally use that fancy DSLR camera that you bought, even just things like how to meditate better, beginner's guide to self-care, like very specific things, they have it there. They also just started a new feature called Learning Paths, which basically they curate their classes into these wonderful little mini paths where if you have a goal, um, they will walk you through it step by step. So I've been using it for Canva. Sorry that I'm waving my scissors around. Um, I've been using it for Canva and graphic design and I'm a baby, baby, baby. So I didn't even know where to start and I was able to just go down the list and learn a lot really quickly and not feel overwhelmed. So I highly recommend checking out Skillshare now, especially with their learning paths if you haven't already. So there will be a link in the description box, the first 500 people to click it. We'll get one month free of Skillshare and yeah, maybe I'll have an announcement in the future about that. Um, so there's some worky stuff going on behind the scenes and I feel like everyone is coming out of their winter hibernation so I'm meeting up with a lot of friends um, at this time. No. They are putting like a new storefront in 
across the street from my house. There's a man on a ladder with a drill, I don't know tool words, but drilling into metal. All right, well, I'll wrap this up quick. Mm, famous last words. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm having a good week. And also, Kurt is camping. Uh, he left yesterday morning with a bunch of our friends to go camping. I'm super jealous because actually the day that I didn't film that snow that Cecil and I ended up going home and being like, get home safe because the weather was turning out to be very strange. Um, the snow stuck. We had, we were just remarking that like there hadn't been much snow this winter. Um, and it stuck and there's still some, not much anymore, but there's still two days later three days later, snow on roofs. But yeah, he's going camping and it looks beautiful. It's like that perfect snowy, oh, jealous. So I'm actually working on a book video all weekend. Um, I yesterday left the house like twice. Um, and other than that, I was reading a book. So um, I'm gonna kind of do the same thing today. So fasten your seatbelts, it's gonna be pretty wild. But I did get a piece of mail that I wanna open with you. Um, I've been to this pottery store in Daegu once before and they were having a collaboration with Edition Denmark, which is a cafe I love. And unfortunately, after I bought it, they called me and they were like, ooh, the collaboration part sold out, but that's okay because I really just wanted the pottery. They were having a deal where you could get this really beautiful bowl and some edition Denmark granola, um, but they ran out of the granola. Such is life. Also, Timothy Chalamet went to edition Denmark randomly uh, when he was here. He was bopping all around. He was literally in my backyard. So weird. I wonder how that's going to affect how uh, crowded edition Denmark is now. So yeah, I've been to this uh, pottery store in Daegu before, but I've never bought from them online. I don't know if you can see. It's called Make a Pottery. Look at this. So pretty, I just love the color. So what's going on today? I'm going to make some breakfast, probably using this bowl after I wash it. And then I'm gonna settle in and finish my book video or work on my book video. I think that's kind of it. I'm very hungry. So let's go make breakfast. Thank you for being here. And uh, I bought feta cheese, so I'm gonna make eggs. All right, let's go. Hey, the book that I'm reading made me unexpectedly really hungry because they're talking about really delicious food. I am on this kick with Super. So Super has been around for a couple years, maybe more than a couple years. Back in the day, ye olden times when I moved to Korea, getting like a soup, like a typical American kind of soup um, was kind of rare. So in terms of like, a tomato basil soup. So Super was one of the first places and since then they've opened a bunch of different locations and now there's one close enough that I can order it and that's very dangerous because they've also, not only have they upped their soup game, they do what is my favorite thing on earth which is a soup and sandwich combo. Got there, look at it. It is grilled veggie ricotta. Normally, I'm sorry that this is like the most exce- oh. Mm. Hello. Kurt's over the nature. <laughs> Let me introduce to you the soup. So I, I really like their tomato, basil, cream, whatever it is, but their winter seasonal soup is a chickpea coconut. I don't know if it's coconut, but it's a like a green curry. Oh my God, it looks horrible on camera, but it's so, it's filled with chickpeas and onions and spinach and chili flakes. Just really, really delicious. So I'm going to consume this. I'm going to continue to read my book. I'll catch you in a beat. <laughs> Yeah. Uh -huh. 
say it looks worse in the headlights than it actually is. It's like a mist that an umbrella wouldn't really do anything for this either. So I think I'm just gonna walk home. Um. Oh, I'm asking now, don't give up on love. Don't give morning from Soul Forest. I'm going to hit a bookstore today that I visited a million times but never in the same place because they always move um, but perhaps the bookstore owner will look familiar to you um, but yeah that's kind of all I'm doing today it's just beautiful out so I technically have a lot of work I should be doing but I just want to be outside in this perfect air quality Soul soup smells like pine. If I complain about having a ton of work tomorrow, this is why. All right, see ya. <laughs> Sorry for the quick trip. I honestly just was so in love with this weather that I just wanted to sit on a bench outside. I was cooking a little bit in that like greenhouse window I was sitting in. So I went out, I sat on a bench, I watched four or five uh, older people barefoot walking. <laughs> I honestly didn't want to do anything else other than just sit there and it was so lovely and then on the ride the bus ride home also from my house oh my god the mountains around seoul still have snow on them and it's never clear enough to see i can't remember the last time the air quality was this good to see the mountains in such detail like to the point where i was taking the bus home the way that i always take the bus home behind lotte tower you could see the mountain ranges like that i normally don't see so it was it's just been really nice to sit outside 
side. Unfortunately, I do have work to do. So I'm back home and I'm gonna kind of hit just sit at my desk for a while but i'm gonna have both of the windows open it's cold but it's like feels good um yeah i i was a little worried with this video that i'm not like <laughs> showing you things um just like these tiny little snippets of life but honestly that's all i've been really wanting to film right now i'm at this weird i'm having another one of those weird existential crises where i'm feeling like oh my life is too boring to vlog and then i end up pushing myself to do quote unquote interesting things and then i just am tired and mad at myself for it i'm stopping before i do that so i know that these little snippets aren't super exciting but um it's what my life is right now so i'm gonna go get to work but um thank you for being on my little book break there i'm reading first lie wins it's a thriller and it's taken a lot of turns from like what i thought it was gonna be uh, it's a thriller so it's not a spoiler to say that there are twists right there was like one twist and i was sort of like oh i don't like the direction this is going but don't worry because there's about a million others and i have like 30 pages left and i have no idea what what's going on um so i'm excited to finish that and anything else tomorrow I need to wrap up my gifts and we're gonna go to the post office. That's my main thing. I have a meeting later tonight. I will just catch you later, okay? It's been a good Monday so far. Hope your Monday was lovely. Hope your air quality is great wherever you are because man, does that change my mood. Um, see ya. <laughs> morning not only have i destroyed my house again with fan art and various bookish things um today's really exciting because i'm not only meeting sharon for the first time but i am also picking up a new camera i've had my eye on this camera for <clears throat> years and i found it on tangan market which is basically like coupon and we're gonna go pick it up right now, right now. So um, I will introduce you to my new baby. I'm probably, I, again, I'm meeting Sharon for the first time, so I probably won't film much, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm very excited. So shaky um successful camera purchase i have just enough time threaten the needle i'm going to run to the store that cecil i didn't vlog it i don't think but cecil took me to this really cool store where this like harmony and her daughter hand make these really beautiful like she makes mostly bookmarks and stuff like that but they she also made these little bags and they are the perfect size for my new camera and I wanna really protect it. So I'm gonna go get it. I've been thinking about it since last week. So I'm gonna go there and we're gonna go meet Sharon. Let's go. <laughs> Did you show the earth remains, but 
what remains is claimed by your boring. If I could have heard you in time, maybe it'd be alright. This means I'm gonna have to clean my room more. Um, it shows so much. Uh, yeah, this is testing, testing. This is my new camera. I got the Vixia Mini X, um, which is a discontinued camera, but somebody happened to be selling it on Dungan and I picked it up and it has like never been used. So I'm really excited about this. You guys have probably heard of this camera, but it's like quite small and very subtle but it has like apparently really amazing audio um and it's a much wider screen but i could also i guess not mid filming but i could switch it to be a not fisheye yeah so today i actually am just doing work at home and then pilates so tomorrow i will see you for bagels with victoria and then dune with kurt and i'm really excited so i'll see you there Chez moi, les autos me déposent Tout ce que je fais est grandiose Mais quand vient le doute par l'autoroute Tout ce que je fais me dégoûte Quand je me sens au top, je prends les gens en stop Tout ce que je fais au kaleidoscope Si mec de derrière me regarde de travers Tout ce que je fais est à refaire Hi, um, we're getting ready to go see Dune. We're watching it at 11 p.m. We're gonna fully be in pajamas for this. Um, let me find you like a better spot. So yeah, I'm just gonna wash my face and then get into, it's freezing today, so get into like a really cozy hoodie and stuff like that. So this is my nighttime skincare routine. <laughs> going to use, I think, the Mixoon one today. Also, I found there's probably no, I don't know the science behind it, but I have found rubbing here <laughs> really helps like release the tension in my face. So if you just put your fingers like right next to your nostril, like this, and then just go like this while you're cleansing, <laughs> it relaxes my face from all like the tension of the day because my face gets really tense when I'm like looking at screens. You don't even really notice it, but your muscles do kind of get <laughs> stressed out. <laughs> goodness okay coming at you from my bed because I just woke up from our second nap of the day and it's hey, what time is it it's 12 21 p.m 
it's 12 21 p.m <laughs> so um really quickly uh, not going into it too much, especially because I find that my opinions on things change after a while. And this is like super fresh. I feel like the first Dune is just like cinematically a historical film. Like I, like Kurt and I were talking about it. We feel like we're watching a movie that will go down in film history for just being absolutely incredible. Like the symbolism, every sh shot and every like the sequencing, it was just like every single bit of that movie was incredible. Um, Dune 2 feels more like, I don't know how to explain this, like a, f <laughs> like a movie. I hate, oh, that sounds so pretentious. I really, this is the antithesis of being pretentious. Like I literally just don't have vocabulary to explain my thoughts. Dune part one felt like a film. Dune part two felt like a movie, but in the best way, like it was definitely more action focused and like, I felt like in the beginning, we got a lot of scenes that were just like artistically, visually stunning. And then we started to focus more on like, let's actually get this story going because we have a lot to cover and we aren't even close to being done with the series. I thought it was still really good. And Kurt has actually read all the books. So he has more opinions on like how many things that they changed. But I personally, as someone who's never read the books, loved it so i highly recommend um i knew i was gonna be biased though because i love the first one so much so i'm going to leave you here uh in this very messy two weeks of my life where i overextended myself in terms of meeting up with people i'm so happy to meet up with people i love seeing my friends but then i need to hibernate and i feel like i'm about to go into hibernation so that was this was my like most social two weeks <laughs> probably of the year that you're gonna see um but yeah i will i'll leave you guys here and um thank you again to skillshare for sponsoring this there will be a link in the description box for the first 500 people to click it we'll get one month free of skillshare definitely check out their learning paths and keep your eyes out for maybe something in the future and yeah i i gotta go i can't focus i'm really glad that this was a three-day weekend so that we can <laughs> recuperate we are not young as we used to be. And so getting out of that movie at 1.30 and then we decided to walk home and it's like not a short walk. So we ended up falling asleep around three. There was never a point in my life when my body really enjoyed staying up until three. So it's just gonna get worse with age. And uh, here we are. So I will catch you guys next time. Thank you always. Let me know what you think of this. I don't think I'm gonna use it, um, use this camera for like sit down videos as much. Um, I just wanted to use it right now because I, I'm just kind of obsessed with it, but let me know your thoughts and I will catch you next time. Okay, bye!